a bit about how you got into this industry. Well, first of all, it's great to have you here, Emily. Um, I got into this industry because I was working for DuPont. I was a chemical engineer by training and I was in many different businesses. I was um, named head of corporate strategy. This is back in 1998. And at the time, our CEO had an idea of we should get bigger in agriculture. We were already in crop protection and we should get into seeds. And so we looked at what the opportunities were and we ended up buying the Pioneer Seed business. And uh, I got to know the Pioneer people and the, the business and the crop protection people and, and fell in love with it and had the opportunity to go and work in agriculture. And uh, it was a wonderful time in my career. It was, it was a highlight in my career at that point. But I left to be the CEO of a, a non-ag company. And then in 2016, I got the opportunity to come back to agriculture and join the Syngenta team. And I've loved every minute of it. Well, that's wonderful to hear. And agriculture is sure glad to have you back, I'm sure. In terms of the, the, the innovations in agriculture today, what do you see as that one innovation that really um, um, tackles the, the global challenges that we're seeing? Climate change, biodiversity protection, and also ensuring productivity for food security. To, to me, the big shift has gone from historical focus on yield and yield under normal conditions to now the focus, I think, is shifting really smartly to regenerative agriculture. So regenerative agriculture to keep good yields, keep high yields, keep high productivity for the land, to feed the world, to make sure that there's enough food for everybody, food security, but also to help be farmers be more resilient to weather extremes and be part of the solution to climate change. So to me, the focus now needs to shift to regenerative agriculture to enable food security and to address climate change. And so what do you think are the main barriers to get um, these new solutions, the regenerative agriculture implemented in the fields? What are the barriers to see these innovations in the hands of farmers today? Well, to, to me, the first thing we have to do is, is, is come to a, an agreement on what we mean by regenerative agriculture, because there are different views on this. And from my discussions with other agriculture companies and food companies and NGOs, I'm seeing a kind of a coalescing of, of view of what it's about are, are outcomes, are the right outcomes. And the right outcomes are uh, you know, high yields to feed the world for, for food security, but also lower greenhouse gas emissions towards zero. With agriculture being 22% of greenhouse gas emissions, we need to take those not only from 22% down, but towards zero. Um, but also things like soil health that enable that. So, so he healthier soils and um, the practices that enable these outcomes. And so my view is that what's important is to focus on the outcomes and then what are the practices that get those outcomes and what are the technologies that enable those outcomes. So my view, the biggest barrier has been kind of the anti-technology view of, of, of a number of NGOs and, and, and some consumers because there wasn't enough discussion about what, what are the outcomes we're trying to achieve. And so to me, overcoming that barrier is to talk about the outcomes and what are the technologies that enable the practices that deliver those outcomes and then ensuring obviously that those technologies are safe and achieve those outcomes. Great. Thank you so much, Eric, for sharing your insights with me today. Um, it's been a pleasure. Great, Emily. It's wonderful to have you here. And it's wonderful to have you speaking on behalf of the entire industry. As somebody that, that knows the political dynamics around the world and cares deeply about making sure that there's enough food for everybody and that we address this existential threat of climate change. So thank you for being here and thank you for all you're doing going around the world and, and advocating for agriculture technology that delivers the right outcomes. It's my pleasure.